हे गाइस हैप्पी यूनिंग एवरीवन सो लेट्स किक स्टार्ट द वेबिनार ऑन लर्न अर्न एंड प्रॉस्पर अ ट्रेडिंग सीक्रेट्स फॉर निफ्टी एंड बैंक निफ्टी आई एम राजू अंगड़ी विश्वनाथ यर सो बिफोर गेटिंग इनटू द वेबिनार पार्ट आई एम गोइंग टू ब्रीफ अबाउट माय सेल्फ एंड अ स्मॉल स्टोरी About myself, so Nani webinar only. Nim jote ke nann story mathe my journey towards trading the fourteen years of experience I am going to share. So basically, I am a trader. I am a chartered market technician from MTA US and a certified financial technician from IFTA US. Also, I am a SEBI registered research analyst. i work for currently a couple of mid size brokering firms as a consultant in the research desk in the institutional desk basically even i am a trader myself as a trader i started my journey in 2008 as a full time trader in fact at that point of time nobody was there to teach me nange yaru explain madakirilla i used to average the options and in a single day while i was pursuing my ms in information systems in uk there i lost 70000 in one single trade by averaging tata motors options so that's how my trading journey started then i started learning the charts analysis analytical skills after pursuing my ms then trading and investing became a full time passion for me then after coming back to india i started my cmt in 2013 and completed my cmt in 2015 and i got my cft in 2017 as well so that's about my education i hold a expertise in nifty and bank nifty trading in futures as well as options and stock options mainly and cash markets i am a discretionary trader i trade on the patterns elliot waves and price action i i i am well versed to many of the softwares like ami broker trading view even being explored the bloomberg terminal and many of the other softwares but currently i use trading view which is quite comfortable to use so that's a small brief about me i am a trader as well as a individual sebi registered research analyst and a consultant so that's a small brief and a journey about me now i am going to brief you about the content what are we going to learn in the webinar ee webinar alli navu en kalithivi anta first tilkolana nodi in the webinar is split into four parts in the first part we are going to understand the market analysis for the next week and which are the high probable stocks and the trade setups for the next week we are going to analyze equities as well as commodities as well as global equities so by understanding the trend we are going to plan for the next week because if we fail to plan we are bound to fail i believe in that now plan madad bitre fail agad kanditavagi fail aagtivi so adukoskara nan en heltini first we let us plan let us understand what is the trend prepare for the next week if you are prepared then you are confident enough to execute your trades with a probable scenarios in the next part we are going to learn the psychological traits the key attributes psychological attributes to become a winning trader new winning trader aagbeku andre yav yav attributes irbeku enen en follow maadbeku yav yav methods na use maadbeku anta psychological methods na discuss maadana adr jothege then at the end of the webinar i am going to give you four tricks which are very simple ones to trade nifty and bank nifty that two particularly options how to use them 
in the real time market and then get a edge over the other traders new e tricks na use maadi nifty bank nifty hege trade maadbeku adan trade maadi hege hana galisbeku anta nan explain maartini ee webinar alli to till then wait till the end of the webinar to get the tricks to trade nifty and bank nifty the strategies to trade nifty and bank nifty then i am going to answer all your queries in the q and a part so mainly why nifty bank nifty because we have to master something where there is highly liquid markets adan trade madake even with lesser capital one can trade nifty and bank nifty and in a systematic way in any kind of markets one can earn nifty and bank nifty trading consistently and create a wealth well guys don't worry you are going to get the recording of the webinar in our mobile app trader sat so if you download the app you are going to get the recording for free i am going to share it to you the app link in your play store as well as in the apple ios you can watch the webinar recording so that's a brief of what we are going to cover in the webinar ee webinar alli enen cover martivi anta nan brief ag explain madidini so before getting into the core part i am going to ask you all a question nimge ellarigu one question keltini know thyself do you like to know yourself or do you like to know markets please answer it in a chat box that do you like to know yourself or do you like to know markets yes shaji markets girish kumar myself myself linu great answers yeah please go ahead any more answers yes most of them were right because many webinars wherever i do what happens the strategy can be built even the simple strategies a 20 day moving average and a 10 day moving average works if you apply it in a systematic way because a simple things work the most difficult thing is application so first know yourself then we need to know markets one needs to know themselves to understand what suits them the best that is the way now first yen telibekandre namige yav instrument suit agutte nifty bank nifty illa dlf stock which is volatile illa options which is suitable for trading illa cash markets so we have to understand whatever suits us the best then we have to start understanding the tricks and the strategies for the markets see tricks and the strategies can be learned anywhere but some certain tricks in the real time markets which i have experienced over a period of time in the real time application will give you an edge still you have to know yourself because knowing yourself is a key to your trading success what suits you best and what goal you want to achieve while you are trading you have to treat trading as a business then only you are going to gain the edge in your trading but anyways what we'll do now we'll know how markets are panning out for the next week then we are going to get into the knowing yourself part because most of you are and will be excited to know in this volatile and uncertain market environments how to establish the trades and what will be the probable trend for the next week how the markets are poised and which of the sectors will be outperforming where we are going to get a opportunities yav stocks alli namge olle opportunities sigutte adanna hege capitalize madbeku next week yen range irutte market do elli trade setups establish madidre namge olle results sigo chances irutte anodanna understand madkolana first then we are going to get into the psychological trades to know yourself and build yourself so let's start let's know markets first
so i hope you guys are comfortable with kannada as well as english or shall we do complete session in english itself okay guys i'll uh, talk more in english rather than in kannada because few of them are unable to understand anyways while in the q and a you you can ask in kannada as well so that i'll allow individual queries and the questions as well so let us start with the market analysis so nifty before starting with the nifty analysis i am going to give the sentiment of the markets how the fis have been panning out and the dis have been panning out the fi di data for the last week suggests fis were net sellers of 24600 crores around approximately 25000 crores have been sold by the fis while in the march series some 45000 crores of selling inclusive of the debt market fis have sold fis 25000 koti attatra sell madidare last week matte total in march around 45000 crores sell madidare dis have bought around 75% of what the fis have sold around 18600 crores in the index futures fis buying and selling both continued there has been a tug of war a flat approach was seen last week while in the index options fis were the net buyers because of the higher weeks volatility index is high that's why index options have been bought on the either ways undecisively we are in a highly volatile market environment this is a uncertain market environment where we have to trade on day to day basis based on the levels as you you guys have been observing that we have been sharing the levels with the nifty and bank nifty every day in our whatsapp groups which hopefully is helping everyone the whatsapp levels the nifty bank nifty levels and the trade setups are they helping you all So guys have you been observing the whatsapp levels on the nifty and bank nifty okay thank you very much lino so we are going to continue the same with the nifty and bank nifty levels okay girish please share me your number after the session i am going to share my number then we are going to add you to the group no need to worry you'll be added you'll be getting the levels in and also you will get on our mobile app that all the levels will be updated on the nifty and bank nifty and some allied good trade setups will be updated there so nifty where it is headed nifty ali now 16800 to 850 is a very big hurdle for the nifty where we are facing a resistance above that only we are going to see 17200 will which will open up 17000 and 17200 so again sgx nifty is hinting a 150 point 160 point gap down on monday based on the us markets which closed on the down, downward bias for the last week while the supports for the nifty the important point for the nifty to watch out are 16425 to 16385 below that 16225 to 250 would be the major support so 16200 250 would be the downside range below 16420 to 380 so for the monday trade setup one can watch out if 16380 to 16420 is held on one can buy the nifty with 16360 as a stop loss again for the 16584 and 16660 levels while 16800 holds to be the hurdle for the nifty and if we break below 16200 this time we can head towards again back towards 15930 and 15270 levels can be seen so watch out 16200 as a major support for the nifty 
while for the monday trade setup one can establish around 16425 to 16385 as a support zone that is for tomorrow's trade while on the upside selling can be established around 16,782, 16,845 because 16,845, 850 is a very important resistance. Unless we break that, it becomes a strict resistance for the Nifty for the next week till the Thursday's expiry at least. And the option data for the Nifty and Bank Nifty suggests that 16,500 and 16,000 puts some basis built, which can act as a support. Well, if you go below also, we can pull back and 17,000 again becomes a major 16,800, some basis built while 17,000 is a major hurdle for the next week's weekly expiry. So as of now, we are going to see tomorrow some dip, which is an opportunity to buy well, if we get a good opportunity near 16,200 to 250, I would be a buyer. I would take a chance with a stop loss below 16,140 for the targets of again 16,600 and 16,800 as the zone. So I would expect the range bound action in the way like this. If the Nifty dips, there would be a good buying opportunity for a range bound action unless we break down below. So this is a broader range in the analysis for the Nifty. Now let us get into the bank Nifty analysis. Bank Nifty option data hints we are in a tighter band. That is 34,000 and 33,500 is a put base which has been built up. And on the upside, 35,000 and 35,500 again would act as a resistance. That is based on the option data. While coming to the chartical analysis, what we are going to see, Bank Nifty here in a four hours chart, we are seeing a island reversal gap where both the gaps have been there. If we fill the gap, 33,900 and 33,550 are the very good supports for the Bank Nifty. If we get a dip, would be a some ideal opportunity until 33,500 holds, one can take a position on the bank nifty on the buy side on dips. While on the upside, we would face the resistance near 35,480. 35,000 and 35,480 could be the resistance zones for the bank nifty. And above that, we can see 36,300, 350 zones in the bank nifty. So that's a brief on the bank nifty analysis. The 35,800 levels and 36,300 levels becomes the resistance if we start inching here. While we'll see the other sectors before getting into the stocks, which are the stocks, which are the sectors where there is very good traction and some good trade setups in the stocks we are going to discuss in the session. So IT index, no, 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 IT index, correct, resistance touch mode is exactly it has touched the resistance, nifty IT. And now we are seeing some cool off. So few of the IT stocks, we might see the cool off as well. Until we cross over 35,800 and 36,000 zones, IT index is going to be range bound again. So we are going to see the dips towards 34,800 and 34,300 zones. So I'm going to discuss which of the stocks to short and which of the stocks to go long after we discuss the indices. Well, trade setups, time frames. I'm going to explain in the Q&A. Please wait for the time. You can ask your queries there. I'm going to answer all your queries, Mr. Nagesh. Please don't mind, guys. Let us go in a flow with the session. Well, the Two other major indices are mid cap and the small cap indices. As we are doing a weekly analysis, we need a four hour or higher time frame daily or weekly for your clarity. Four hours or daily time frame are better ones to do the analysis. For that, I have chosen the four hour time frame now. 
while the small cap index 9200 becomes a major hurdle unless we cross that point it seems to be choppy again we are going to see a dip towards 8800 so you should be very selective before 4 5 months we have been seeing that from the until last september or last uh, june july we are seeing the markets have been one way up now markets have become very choosy and very very volatile the first 6 months of the year will be like this only one has to trade on level to level basis in these markets so that is why you need to be very proficient and based on the levels only you have to act and stock selection has become very difficult it's not like before that it was a easy one way up market or it's not even like one way down market when we saw in march 2020 during the covid period so let's get into the mid cap analysis mid cap index again 28600 is a hurdle 600 700 600 to 700 where we are seeing here the double bottom kind of a pattern in the mid mid cap index any dip towards 27500 selective stocks again buying is seen and dips can be bought which which i am going to discuss the energy index is the one index which is showing a very good pattern the inverted pattern the reliance also looking good and some of the energy stocks even ioc bpcl hpcl also looking good on the charts some momentum is seen in selective energy stocks well the metal index is almost near the all time high this is the one index which has been outperforming once we cross the 6300 zones in the metal index we are going to hit a fresh all time highs while 6080 and 5980 are the important supports for the metal index until we sustain that we are going to be in a bullish trend and the another index which we are seeing a good traction is psu where we can see psu stocks are moving up it's like it's time has come for value stocks than the growth stocks like dividend stocks and value stocks which have been underperforming like uh, one can see the power grid and uh, our coal india or nmdc which has been psu stocks gale india has given a record dividend so these stocks are outperforming compared to the other stocks because the charts also ends psu index is in a flat kind of a pattern where somewhere around another 2 3% gains can be seen in the next week so that's on the indices front coming to the other sectors which have been performing the top sectors in the last week are paper stocks which we are recommended and also we are going to recommend again as well as some sh selective sugar stocks which have been outperforming some selective pharma stocks which pharma sector also seems to be quite good on the charts so that has been outperforming along with the psu stocks so four sectors to watch out on the buy side are paper sugar pharma and psu stocks it can correct a bit so be cautious in the it bank nifty can be range bound so which are the paper stocks to watch out first let me have a sneak into some of the paper stocks jk paper which we have recommended already around 250 zones this stock is again a buy on dips until 245 holds for a target of 280 plus minimum 280 plus once we to cross 280 320 levels can be seen in the chart stock another stock tomorrow if we get any good dip is orient paper where there is some strong momentum is gaining until 2950 holds the stock is a buy because we are holding a 200 day average and a strong breakout is seen with higher volumes apart from that the other subdued paper stock is aston paper which is showing a target of 54 plus so these stocks can give you some around 20 to 30 percent returns so coming to the sugar stocks balrampur chini which is at the 52 week highs the stock is outperforming until 
फोर सिक्सटी टू फोर सेवेंटी होल्ड इट इज अन डिप्स द स्टॉक कैन टेस्ट फाइव फिफ्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड जोन अटलीस्ट फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव टू फाइव फिफ्टी लेवल्स कैन बी सीन इन द स्टॉक द Let us see few of the other sugar stocks. Trivane Engineering is one more stock, where again a 52 week high has been hit. So this stock is outperforming, and as per the pattern wise, I like KM Sugar, which is in a strong pattern of a larger degree consolidation. The stock until holds the 30 levels. Once we cross 36, 37 zones, can hit 50. So. this is going to give somewhere around 50% returns note it down these are the stocks which are going to outperform something is cooking as per the charts in these stocks and the other sector pharma which is very very selective one needs to be sun pharma is really looking good on charts until 865 holds somewhere around 885 to 875 one can buy and once we cross 905 stock is heading towards 950 to 1000 zones cipla which we have been recommending from last one or two weeks the stock has clearly outperformed it's at the lifetime highs can touch 1200 levels any dips around 1020 zones one can buy the cipla 1020 to 1010 would be ideal buying opportunity one can accumulate on positional basis for 1100 and 1200 as a targets so coming to the psu stocks a power grid is one stock the power stock which i like once we cross the 220 levels this stock is going to fly mark my words once we cross on closing basis 220 zones this stock is going to fly keep a watch on it 250 is the minimum targets and i am seeing 300 plus levels in the stock as per the chartical analysis the probability is high so 205 To two two zero eight is a very important support until that holds two zero two can be the stop loss. One can buy the power grid and on a breakout one can add. So any more of the stock queries from your side? That's it from from the equities. Then I'll get into the commodities and I'll get into the stock queries. Commodities front fifty two thousand three hundred and fifty one thousand eight hundred is a very important support for the gold. where we can see the bounce from there while silver in a larger degree i am seeing a one more leg down before a larger degree up move towards 90000 or 120000 i am going to show it to you on the weekly charts this is what is happening with the nifty as per the fractal nature which i believe so on a weekly chart we are in a d wave in a coil pattern silver has formed a indecisive long leg doji kind of a pattern so 71500 to 72000 above once we decisively close then only we are going to go up towards 90 else we are going to pull back towards lower levels on the downside 68900 decisively breaks we are going to go down towards 66000 odd levels in the silver 66600 and 66000 zones well 60 to 64 would be the ideal investment opportunity for the silver buyers one can buy for 90000 as a targets on a positional basis not for one or two months but for a one one and a half years perspective you can gain 50% returns maybe next two three months we can see some more consolidation in the silver before we go up so that's on the silver the main thing the red hot thing is crude oil crude oil has reversed from 130 dollars 130 to 132 where we have shown a clear cluster which is very important as i have marked it on the charts so once if we cross 130 32 then we are going to see 161 odd zones while 103 to 105 becomes a very important support for the crude as of now until we holds it can act on a range bound basis 114 to 120 118 120 can be the upside resistance for the crude oil as we have hit a 10 10000 mark in the mcx crude as well so the range bound action 118 to 120 on the upside 103 to 105 on the downside in the crude oil is seen this is us wti crude for the next week 
precious metals it's quite volatile so i am going to avoid that i am going to get into the global equities let us have a sneak into the global equities now let us see the us markets i am going to brief it because it's all important when you start your trading 12900 to 12600 becomes the next support for the nasdaq we are seeing a another leg down move if we break below 13100 again we are going to see the some uh, 600 points downside 500 600 points downside in the nasdaq while s&p 500 if we take the closing is quite bad 4220 and 4280 are the now major resistance zones until that is not crossed it's it would be on the sell side 4140 breaks s&p 500 is heading towards 4000 and 3750 levels 3740 levels market down the major sell off will be seen in the us equities if we break 4140 in the s&p because the bearish head and shoulder patterns which has been formed has been working perfectly even on the dow jones front if we break 32500 zones we are going to see the major sell off towards 31000 30600 levels so that's on the global equities and the commodities as well as indian equities and stocks any queries do you have on the stocks you want to check any stocks for the next week yavadadru stock queries idena please write up in a chat box so that i can explain okay first let me start with gaurav as asked for ab capital one by one please one by one ab capital ab capital guys it is hit a major support of 98 62 97 zones until we cross 106 107 the stock is not out of the woods but still one can take a chance buying on dips around 101 with a stop loss of 97 so next is dmart mr nagesh has asked dmart it's between 20 day and 200 day average i am not going to buy this stock this is quite weak if we are going to break 3950 levels this stock is going to have a major sell off until 4400 is broken i am not going to decisively take any action on the stock the stock is quite weak as per the charts so avoid someone someone has asked for dani services so you should be very selective in stock picking this is again a bearish counter maximum 83 to 90 levels can be seen in the stock 90 92 levels 83 crossing only is hurdle and below 68 we are going to head lower avoid the stock is the recommendation mr sandesh has asked for bpcl well bpcl has broken out of the 20 day average looks promising until 340 for 345 to 350 holds it's a shorter time frame breakout the 20 day average has been taken out we can head towards 400 zones going ahead if we see some meaningful cool off in crude at least 373 levels can be seen in a shorter term let us have a sneak into the spi card spi card again i would wait for a dip towards 780 to 760 to take an entry well upside we are going to see 873 levels rather i would buy around 760 to 780 levels with 745 as a stop loss guys mr dc raj has asked for reliance 
Reliance Industries is one of the stocks which has been outperforming even the energy index also as we saw. But Reliance has to cross the important level of 2450, 2460 levels. I would see 2460 as a major hurdle. Once we cross that point, then only we are going to head on the upside towards 2560, 70 zones. So that is the strategy and one can buy the dips definitely in the Reliance. 2300 to 335 as a important support zones for the Reliance. Definitely I would buy the dips in the Reliance. That's what I believe in. CDSL is another stock. So yes, this uh, whatever the stocks which have been in uh, this MCX CDSL, they have been outperforming BSE. So CDSL until the 20 day average holds near 1420 to 1400. One can buy the dips. Fourteen thirty to fourteen fifty can be bought around with a stop loss of fourteen hundred. Bank of Baroda. Well, PSU banks have started moving higher, but again, I would avoid unless until any confirmation comes in above 110, 108, 110 in Bank of Baroda. Else, I would see the dip around 100 zones if it is feasible. Again, another query is Parath Forge. I would rather avoid the stock. This looks, this looks not good on the charts. Avoid the penny stocks like S Bank or R Power. These stocks will kill you anytime. So I would rather avoid these stocks and be in the liquid counters where we are not going to get stuck. So I hope I answered all the stock queries. Let's get back to the webinar again. So that's on the market analysis. Now let us get into the learning part of the webinar where we are going to learn the psychological traits to learn and, and prosper. Some of the tricks also, mind you, if you can spare the time till the end, I am going to share the exceptional strategies the simple one of them and the tricks to trade in the real time markets in nifty and bank nifty simple option trading tricks i'm going to share which are going to work in the real time markets so basically why do 90 percent of the traders do not make money traders because there are three kinds of influencing factors which affects your money blueprint everybody has a got a money blueprint in their mindset which is designed or influenced by some of the external factors. A mind is influenced by some of the factors like your friends, relatives, or someone else's, this one, words. A mind influencing determines your money by blueprint. Visual influencing, you have seen something wrong or money making is somewhat bad or something that influences your mind then yes you have gone through an incident yavadadru ond incident agirutte nim life alli adrinda nimi ond effect agirutte illalla like incidental influencing is very important because you are, you have made a loss in a market or a stock particular stock so you don't like for an example i don't trade tata motors even i will say why i don't trade the stock is quite good the volatility is quite good stock has given money for many of them because I had a first bad experience at the start of my career. That is in the back end of your mind. That determines, but we have to be objective. We should not do that mistake. If the charts are saying and a pattern is saying or any confirmation is there for a trade setup, the risk reward ratio is better. We, we need to take the trades irrespective of the stock. But that is where your money blueprint needs to be determined. It should not be influenced by any bias. Yes, Mr. Gaurav, the loss has initiated my journey in a 14 years career. 
eight to nine years, like around six years, I struggled. I made profits losses. Overall, I was in loss. Three years, I came to break even and made small money. From last five years, it's been helping me out. All the experience and my education in the CMT in the journey that helped me to grow to this stature and do my analytics in a efficient way and execute the trade setup. See, being exuberantly rich and affluent money is different. but you need to achieve the financial freedom when you are trading based on your capital your capital i don't discourage anyone if any anybody might be having a very good capital or a very small capital based on your capital you have to plan your journey and you need to set your goals what purpose it should solve then only you can make money in markets that is where people fail you come up with a 50000 and unrealistically you expect to earn 50000 a week so you are expecting it to double your money is that realistic are you all there are you with me it is not realistic right so guys let's act and plan realistically and start working on the things so once your money blueprint is been properly structured and once you change what happens in mind influencing also what i'm going to say is like your parents say that you study hard you work hard then only you can make money that's how your mind has been influenced by your parents you get a job you settle your life i'm going to say a simple word here what do you feel markets is stock markets either it's equities commodities or any asset class i'll say in a one single word it's a toughest way to make easy money a small sentence it's a toughest way to make easy money if you can crack the code in a simple way and have a disciplined approach then definitely you are going to make money you have a disciplined approach you act as per your plan you will achieve your financial freedom see last 4 years i quit my job i used to work as a analyst for the mid size broking firms then i quit and i started on my own i planned my journey step by step now i work on my own i trade for myself i have a portion of planning and execution and i know my risk appetite is well that's what matters sharing a bigger screenshots and showing you abnormal things i am not here to bluff or cheat anyone i am going to share the insights whatever i have learned which would help you guys to grow and all the queries and the q and a's please let's keep it at the end of the session so that it you guys for you guys it would be helpful so that is how one needs to change the money blueprint to be financially free ultimate aim should be if you are working professional what you need to do you need to plan how much time you are going to give along with your job then how much capital you have then how much you are going to take the risk and what time you are going to spend on trading and what is the returns you are going to expect if you are a full time trader and if you get, if you gain the expertise what i am going to say is you are you can achieve anywhere between 6 to 10% per month that to when you have a smaller capital like around up to 10 lakhs or 20 lakhs if the capital crosses 20 lakhs then the returns can be anywhere between 1.5 to 2% or even 3% if market support see it's not about portfolio stocks what you are keeping based on the market environment nowadays the market is not in a conducive mode as it is not in a supportive mode to help you on a longer term basis or a, even a swing trading has become difficult this is a day to day basis market where the markets move like around 600 to 800 points where we are facing a issues 
well i am going to share few of the picks in the last diwali which we have chosen the pdf one where we have held on to the stocks well delta corp is one of them still we are holding network 18 we have done done with we have bought around 40 odd levels so there are certain set of stocks which i am going to share it so i am going to share the record where the analysis also has been published so anyways the q and a please i will answer we are going to continue with the session guys so there is lot more learning left let us learn then i am going to answer all your queries hope you guys cooperate with me so guys i am going to ask you one thing how many of you know about swot analysis yarik swot analysis helidre gottu so swot analysis is about your strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats first chalk out your strengths know your strengths know your weaknesses write it down make a box like this write your strengths write your weaknesses see where the opportunities are there to make money and also what are your threats then if you can apply the swot analysis basically swot analysis is applied to a businesses when you start a business it's a starting process to start your business but how many of you have applied a swot analysis to yourself any one of you have applied swot analysis to yourself excellent goro excellent it's quite nice you have to apply because see you will understand how you can grow you apply the swot analysis you will know your inner self that's why i said know yourself for knowing markets yes if you understand where are where do you stand today what weaknesses you have how you can minimize your weaknesses what are your strengths where you can use it as a opportunities to grow and avoid your threats that will help you become a successful trader you apply to yourself first then you apply to your trading everything whatever i am discussing is correlated to your trading if you can apply in a diligent way so the next part what we need to focus on is discipline a disciplined approach is always very 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 important and vital for your trading success how many of you maintain a trading journal please answer in a chat box so guys most of you don't maintain a trading journal what i would say start it from today start it see guys you might get uh, nowadays everything is at fingertips you can download every single trade setups whatever you are done because see near back office end of the day you are going to get it downloaded easily so that is not important why the trading journal is important at least you write in a, if you are not good in the excel you can write up in your diary whatever the trades you take it makes you responsible guys friends if you are buying something write down what you are buying write the price what you are buying write the purpose or the reason for why to take a trade and what are your targets target 1 and target 2 then your stop loss which is the most important part then what the trade has happened how much profit you gained what loss you have made after a week or a month a 10 trades 20 trades 50 trades you make just analyze what you are trading why you are trading what is happening how to improve your performance why this trading journal is important if you go wrong go and check your journal and analyze then you are going to understand how to improve your performance so it is a very 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 important part in your trading journey start with a trading journal hardly it takes 5 minutes in a day after you take a trade enter make it a excel make it a habit 60 days you make it a habit then it becomes 
a routine that becomes a clear habit and it comes into your blood so please do maintain the trading journal start it from now from tomorrow morning maintain the journal see that gives you a clear picture we human beings have very shorter memories that's why what i recommend maintain a trading journal and make a set of rules whatever the way you trade enter the trade with your plan and stick to it follow the rules as per the plan never question it and never find the perfection like like what you say world is not square it's circled it's round so don't search for perfection the whole numbers in the markets like from 90 rupees i bought a stock 100 rupees is the target the stock touches 99.90 and starts falling you are searching for a holy grail so there is no perfection in the markets you have to adapt as per the market scenario so this approach a disciplined approach with set of rules and not searching for a holy grail like most of you search for a holy grail strategy or the indicator i am going to teach you here the strategy tricks rather than a strategy if i give you a strategy what happens in this market this strategy works in the next market this strategy will not work like there are different behaviors in the markets the up trending markets down trending markets sideways markets which will chop you around based on the different market scenarios you have we need to have a different set of strategies but the basic rules remains the same that is why never search for a holy grail strategy and always understand you are not a 100% student if you are writing up a exam think you can score 50% which i am going to explain going ahead two simple methods to protect your capital there is always a two layer two layer management of protection of your capital if you have that in place then only you are going to win your trading i am going to say then only you are going to win nan en helta idini andre new trading alli gelle beku andre idu eradanna kaltre apply madidre matra gellak agadu else you will not be able to win in trading remember this mark my words you learn any of the analysis if you don't have this clear approach of two management concepts which you need to apply to become a successful trader like why do we call the defense is powerful the power of defense because if you attack offense can win you games but defense can win you championships you have heard of one of the toughest areas where india was not able to win in the cricket example let me take an example in australia test matches or test series australia or england who has helped india win and gain that confidence rahul dravid right guys the wall of india wall of cricket because of his strong defense he has helped us win see that's why one if your defense your stop loss is stronger your risk and money management is stronger then only you are going to win well let's start with the risk management never enter into a position without establishing yes always defense is important once you get a loose ball you can capitalize and if your capital is evaporated you are going to be out of the markets like here is a simple word what i am going to say if you invest rupees 100 and you lose rupees 50 let's take it as an example it will be just 50% of your capital to make up that 50% you need to make 100% agree guys 100 rupees in the 50 rupees loss aadre 50% hoyitu but 50 rupees na 100 maadbeku andre what we need to do we need to earn 100% that's why risk reward ratio should be 1 is to 2 at least for day trading 1 is to 3 or more for swing trading that is my clear agenda in trading if you have a 80% accuracy you are a scalper then you can reduce it to 1.5 but don't be a scalper be patient perseverance always base back 
patience is always important one is to two if the trade comes in your trade setup then only you take if it is more than it is beautiful because the risk is guaranteed reward is always potential in the markets like until you leave a arrow from your bow like en helidre iga arjuna banana billu inda budatanka adu control alli irutte once it is left he knows what risk it is will it hit a target or not and once it left you have to aim it properly and plan it with a risk reward ratio that's why risk management is the vital part i am going to explain in a more brief way we are going to see in figures but before that i am going to brief about the money management as well one of the famous quote by a legendary trader as well as an investor how many of you have have heard about a george soros anybody knows george soros here he is from he is a jewish he is uh, now in us yes the trader who made money by shorting the british pound he made bank of england bend on their knees and beg him a person e manushya trading alli he made bank of england kaal idiyaga maadibuta by shorting a british pound he has quoted that it is not whether you are right or wrong that is important it's how much money you make when you are right that is where risk and money management helps how much money you make when you are right and how much you lose when you are wrong that will determine your success or failure in trading as well as investments so until you don't have a foundation any house you are constructing yavade mane kattuvaga nimma foundation risk money management foundation strong illadre you will never be successful remember and apply don't take it lightly this might be boring again i am going to say i am going to share the tricks of trading options in nifty and bank nifty wait till the end let's get into a money management rule 2% stop loss rule how many of you apply anybody apply a 2% stop loss rule in their trading okay it depends on the individual uh, capital management some apply 3% 5% this is some simple theoretical concept still that's that should be per trade so let me get back again with more of the explanation here see well gaurav based on the technical levels you uh, you have to adjust the stop losses but you have to size your positions the quantity how much you buy you need to decide purely based on the money management as well as risk management you can't uh, just take a trades based on the levels and adjust your trades so always be precise position sizing is another concept which we are going to learn some other day due to the time constraints i am not i would not be able to cover that so let us say first let us start with the risk management we are going to take a trade with a x stock at rupees 100 let us say we are taking with a stop loss of 10 and remember we are having a trading journal and you are having a target of rupees 120 when you buy at 100 a potential target so your reward potential reward is 20 bucks and your risk is 10 bucks so there your risk reward ratio clearly becomes 1 is to 2 let us repeat the trade for 10 times and let us assume you are going to win only 5 times 50% of the time what happens if you win 5 trades out of 10 trades you are going to make 100 points 100 rupees the rest of the 5 trades you lose you are going to lose 50 rupees still you will be having a gross profit of somewhere around 50 so why it is important even if you win only 50% of the time if you have a good risk reward ratio 
if you are a 50% student also you need not be a merit or a topper or a 100% student in any of the examination or even even in trading but if you have a sim don't believe in luck manage your risk reward ratio and money management properly luck will come in your favor that's what i will tell you in a straight way even if you win 40% of the time still you would be left with a gross profit of 80 minus 60 that's 20 points that is how it is even if you are a 40% student you can make money markets will give you money you can make money but you need to have a right approach risk and money management money management so i spoke about the 2% stop loss rule okay let us assume i will give you a capital of 1 lakh or 100 rupees for simplifying the process if you apply the 2% stop loss rule and if you lose even 50 consecutive trades you would be still left with 35% of your capital you might be wondered how you will be left with 35% of the capital anybody is having an idea please write up in a chat box you can see the answer anywhere anyways in the screen but still i want your active participation so that's where the iteration process starts let us say 100 rupees you have a capital two percent of your 100 rupees is 98 rupees if you lose the trade one yes yes girish you are right then again in the trade two if you lose the two percent of it is 96.4 and trade three also you lose it's two percent of 96.4 it's 93.9 that's how 35 percent of the capital you will be left with and even if you randomly toss a coin i'm going to say you are not going to lose 50 consecutive trades let us assume we are not doing any analysis we are just taking a trade based on gambling or just randomly i'm taking a trade how it is why it is see even if you toss a coin you will be having a probability of 50 50 for heads and tails do you agree guys You will be having a chances of winning 50% and losing 50%. So you are not going to, let us assume, see head, there is a probability of head as 50% and tail as 50%. You don't know exactly what it comes when you toss your coin, right? Right, Girish? Even if you don't do the analysis, if you randomly toss, you are not going to lose 50 consecutive trades. If you lose 50 consecutive trades, you are one in a one crore. You are one in a 10 million that your luck is not in favor. Don't do trading. I'm straight, straightly saying this, bluntly saying this. So thus, apply the moral of the story is here is apply the risk management and money management percentage stop loss rule as well as risk reward ratio in a diligent and simple way to become a successful trader do you guys agree look always down never up because risk is guaranteed reward is potential place a logical stops don't adjust your stop losses based on for your risk reward ratio because charts are saying stop loss is something else and you are adjusting it based on your comfort for your risk and money management rule and try to trade with the trend unless you are a professional trader who can trade contra with tight stops and you are comfortable losing the trades also because contra trading sometimes you lose also so that's how it is risk and money management are the two important management concepts which one need to apply to become a successful trader so why do most people fail after applying all the concepts after learning all the tools and technical analysis because they fail the lack of desire not because of the lack of desire everybody wants to make money right here why do everyone everyone not able to make and why do they fail in markets because of the lack of commitment lack of execution the planning and execution is the vital part and the commitment is what you need whatever is capable even if you are a working professional i would say do half an hour of your analysis 
and trade only two hours, spend the two hours and aim for what you want to achieve with your capital. That's more than efficient enough if you have that right approach. If you are a full-time trader, then obviously you are putting in more efforts. You are uh, taking the calculated risks, expect the more returns in the similar way. And after having the commitment, execution, win, winning, a mindset to win is very much important because your psychological money blueprint, as I discussed, you need to have a right frame of mind and the temperament to win in any of your life aspects. It might be trading, it might be business, it might be your job. Because as it's quoted by the Andre Eppen, impossible also says I am possible. If you limit yourself, you are never going to win. So always having have a positive and winning mindset. And once you plan and systematically write down your rules, risk money management and even your technical analysis rules, you have to repeatedly execute it. You are what you repeatedly do. Excellence and mastery, therefore, is not an act, but a habit, as quoted by the Aristotle. Make it as an habit. Until a system is working, a plan is working for you, you have a right frame of mind to win. Make it a habit. Act accordingly. Trading is not for excitement. Trading is not for fun not for pleasure, not for your desperation. Remember this, it's not for your pleasure, not for your depression, not for your desperation, not for fun. Take it as a serious profession, it's not gambling. Well, you are taking as a part-time profession or a business, if you treat it as a business, it will definitely reward you, make a systematic process in a very simple and diligent way, you are definitely going to win. Okay, why did I choose this coming to the core topic? Why do why did I choose this workshop name to be the learning nifty and bank nifty trading secrets? Can anyone answer? Partly right, Ramesh, focus on only one. Well, I'm going to remind you again, after discussing this Nifty and Bank Nifty, trades, how one can become a Nifty and Bank Nifty trader, I'm going to discuss, I'm going to share you the tricks of trading options in Nifty and Bank Nifty. As I promised, I'm going to share you those tricks, simple tricks, which will help you. See, it's not about any attraction. Nifty and bank Nifty, why it is like volatility also, it doesn't uh, affect. See, even Nifty and bank Nifty also will be sideways. Now it's been volatile, VIX is at the higher end. You need to focus on one or two tools. Let me take a simple example. Anybody can say how many indicators are there in technical analysis? Approximately, generally, let us say, some 300 to 500. How many of us in depth have learned three to four of them? How many, of, how many of you understand the real-time price action? How many of you, very, very, very popular indicator, let me say, RSI? I can take a webinar on RSI for at least half a day to one day, some four hours to eight hours. Do you believe? And that can be applied in such a way that only one, anyways, we are not going to use one of them. We are going to combine with two or three of them. 
that is different but rsi is in such depth so just knowing a indicator and using it in a simple traditional way whatever the textbook or the explanation is there that can't help you that is one thing and you can't ma the i i can't divert the topic anyways i'll come back it's like jack of all master of none you have to master few tools two to four of the indicators or couple of indices then other trades whatever you take based on your follow ups and limited trade setups then you increase your expertise first master one or two of them few and simple tools or few or few and simple of the couple of indexes and mainly nifty bank nifty why do we need to trade the liquidity is high they can't be managed or manipulated if you work in a proper way you have seen how our levels are in our group in our community from last one week at least or two weeks few of them have been observing it's a process built over a period of time even if i don't see the charts the time during the markets i see i recognize the levels that is how i got it built by the vision although i have pursued cmt to show you guys i have to plot on the chart it's like i remember the numbers i don't recommend you to do that anyways that's different ball game but that levels once you start mastering something and focusing something you will get familiar with the index okay you are you are familiar with your family members you know the behavior of your wife when she is in good mood when she is not in good mood when your father and mother how they are behaving how, how their mood is and how you need to manage them in a proper way because you are regularly with them also you will understand about your kids that is why become a master of few of the things rather than mastering everything you will be jack of all master of none so become a master of one or two and grow that gives you confidence and helps you believing in your analysis then execute it with your plan with risk money management based on the number of lots you want to trade you want to trade options you want to trade futures you build it over a period and in couple of months you after because see literally there were nobody to guide me i only researched searched about the cmt after doing my masters obviously everybody in the house they are not going to support you to come to stock markets i made myself the loan and then i pursued cmt i built my career in that hard and painful manner but i had a persistence and i had a vision and a goal which is clear that i want to be independent i don't want to work for any anybody i have a passion i had a passion for entrepreneurship which i have been pursuing even though it took its own course of time if you find a right mentor you can find a shortcut in the 14 years journey whatever i have taken you can take it in 2 to 3 months that i'm going to bet you if always a right mentor is very much important like why the confidence is required how do you gain the confidence uh, all of you might have heard of a famous fighter bruce lee bruce lee was never feared of a fighter who has practiced 10000 kicks once but he was feared of a fighter who has practiced one kick 10000 times if you practice something for 10000 times will you not master it guys hope it is interesting i am not getting any reply from you if you practice something 10000 times you are going to master right yes that is why i chose nifty bank nifty as a topic and it's highly liquid where you can trade your entry and exits and it is combined of stocks and one strong uh, one stock might have thousand variables and parameters but the index has got certain levels and certain thresholds based on that you can act easily more participation will be there entry and exits will so will be easy liquidity is there so just master nifty and bank nifty so what do you need to do to learn nifty and bank nifty let me share the five simple steps 
first to start your journey to become a expert nifty and bank nifty trader you have to build your mindset plot swot analysis learn all the psychological trades i have shared few of them already to you then you need to build the temperament and there are lots of things due to the shortage of time i am going to uh, try to cover and help you as much as possible that will help you build your temperament to become a successful trader build your mindset identify the trends understand the key clusters a hidden trading clusters a hidden zones supply demand zones which one can identify the very very important points where you need to take your entry and exit points with your stop losses with a proper risk reward ratio a trend identification and capturing the trend is key to trading success that you need to learn then you need to because trading the simple plain vanilla stocks or nifty bank nifty is completely different trading the options again is a different ball game where you need to learn the option chain analysis in an advanced manner not in a simple manner again you need to use the geeks you need to see how to select the option strikes that i am going to provide a glimpse in i am going to give you a trick how to select the option strikes that is one of the tricks which i am going to share at the end of the webinar you need to do your option chain analysis the ratios geeks you need to see the short term patterns while trading options along with the combination of indicators mainly price action but uh, one or two indicators obviously would be helpful uh, option charts also can be used so you need to learn the different tricks like there is a saying you can learn if you are learning yourself you can learn technical analysis in a year's time and if you are learning yourself you can learn options within a five years so options are tougher nuts to crack because there is always a time decay in buying options they say sellers make money still i would say buyers can make more money than sellers but you need to have that different tricks what you need to learn also you need to learn the option strategies future strategies expiry strategies how to manage your money stops in the real time markets in the options because if you lose and over leverage in options then it is going to cost you your huge capital and you are going to burst your capital out then after doing all these things you have to set your goals plan and execute because this is the major part you need to write down the blueprint of your plan trading how you need to do what is your goal how you need to achieve split it into parts divide it into parts then execute it in a diligent way are you guys ready to learn nifty and bank nifty trading and become a master of nifty and bank nifty trading so for that what do you need you need to have a mantra a strategy you need to know how to execute to know the mantra you need to educate yourself from the right mentor you need to have a right mindset because a right frame of mind is always important when you fight your with your wife or you are sort out with some loss you you can't do the revenge trading to lose so mindset is very much important then you need to have a right capital a fair enough capital i am not saying the exceptional capital you need to become rich markets if you have the right strategy and a fair capital you are going to be rich you have to believe that i am going to be rich if you don't have belief in yourself and your trading then how you can be rich then you need to have a right error management planning in place what is error management you are there are 10 different types of stop losses only that's what is error management the risk and money management also comes as a part of it so for that you need a right mentor so guys 
we are going to introduce you to the exclusive index trading strategies workshop there are simple three parts in the workshop you are going to learn eight secrets how to become a successful trader then you are going to learn how to trade within the zone trade within yourself as i just gave you know thyself know yourself and markets how to like swot analysis is just a part of it then you are going to learn the introduction to derivatives futures options a trend trading and contra trading why trend trading and contra trading because 30 to 40% of the time only market should be trending rest of the times markets will be sideways do you agree with me 60 to 70% market will be sideways how to trade in those markets which point to trade that is very much important that is where your success lies if you have a trend following strategy you are trading a trend following strategy you have to accept if you back test also you have to accept that it is going to win only 40 to 35 to 50% trend following strategy back testing results you will get even if you automate yeah probably mr yogendra you are right around 11 to 2 pm 11 to 130 at least market will be in sideways if you are an intraday trader if you are a positional trader market behavior changes there are different strategies for the different kind of markets how to analyze those kind of markets also there are tricks by simple methods the futures also can be traded nowadays they have increased the margin for intraday and futures to 1.5 lakhs 1.6 lakhs in nifty and bank nifty both so if you want to trade still the futures you are not comfortable trading the options in a proper risk money management way let us compromise some of the profits still you can trade with very narrow margin around 60 70000 there is a trick to trade how i'll tell in a simple way if you are buying a nifty futures first buy the nifty put at the money or near the money then trade the future with the stop loss so your margin reduction can be easily done then in the most important part what you need to learn in trading nifty bank nifty is you need to identify the supply demand zones there are five different methods to identify the hidden trading clusters the key points to trade how to identify the hidden trading clusters one need to understand these five methods will give you the way i give you the nifty levels every day last one or two weeks you have seen it's a combination of the overall years of practice and expertise by using these hidden trading clusters it's a combination and the process along with that i am going to add the option analysis also in the other three parameters so total eight parameters needs to be combined while you are preparing your levels for the next day the weekly analysis what i have shown i explained it to you in a very simple way but those analysis has got a background work which i have practiced it i used to do it for eight to ten hours or 12 hours a day after the markets to see it, nifty bank nifty and five to ten stocks it used to take me somewhere around six to ten hours at the start of my journey but now hardly it takes me 15 minutes to complete all the whatever the analysis i covered you uh, it took me somewhere around 20 minutes of analysis like uh, uh, even the global market analysis the nifty bank nifty levels uh, with uh, all the data analysis and uh, commodities as well in a 20 minutes time frame i covered it do you want to learn the same how i did the analysis with a combination of hidden trading clusters yes we'll go ahead i'm going to teach you all in the second part you need to learn the option geeks because before trading options one need to understand all these things how they work i'm going to give a brief of it geeks in the strategy part in the next when we discuss in next few minutes time you need to 
understand the put call ratio and option chain now normally when you see the option chain open interest everybody says and the put call ratio generally whatever the ratio by the volume they calculate no here we need to learn it in a different revamped way markets in the real time how one can revamp and selection of the option strikes is also very much of importance one needs to understand the volatility as well while trading options the wix is at the higher end now volatility is at the higher end so trading options is quite easier in this market environments option buyers make money also we need to understand the trading short term patterns as well as tweaked indicators revamped indicators trading patterns why do, why do patterns occur can anybody say in any markets any time frames from 1 minute chart to i can plot uh, elliot waves in 1 minute chart to monthly charts or any of the patterns there is a simple trick behind it we human beings are habitual in creatures we repeatedly are comfortable doing the tasks which we do repeatedly that is how in a sub in a subconscious way the patterns occur and indicators basically why they are to smooth and the noise they use it but tweaking them and using as the indicate all of the indicators like if you use a moving average it's obviously delayed but how to use them in a tweaked way to get advantage of it in the real time markets is the trick so that is where the combination is always required a real time market experience then in a part 3 of index trading we should learn time screens a different time frames in every individual has got the got their own time frames because one is a scalper one is a swing trader one is a positional trader or a investor so based on that you need to adjust your time screens to be successful every shoe doesn't fit to everyone so then you need to learn about the futures trading buying option strategies particularly buying option everybody most of you are scared because money can't be made and you will most of the times lose money it's not like that there are certain tricks which one need to learn while buying the options i am going to share one of the special trick in this webinar itself at the end of the session then you need to identify the exhaustion points a point where there is a major demand zone to buy a option at that point if you execute you are going to get the very tighter stop loss and you are going to have a beautiful risk reward ratio that is one of the strategy then expiry trading expiry days there is lot of tricks see last expiry all the news most of you have seen up election results bjp won all the four state elections global markets were positive nifty bank nifty were trading at the highs a uh, one call what we gave i remember so 35 somewhere around 35 3 25 above i gave a, gave a buy on bank nifty and some 85 points of stop loss have been triggered and next after one hour i gave a sell in the bank nifty below 31 34 140 i can share you the whatsapp screenshot i can show you once we finish the session why i am giving that example that's because of the expiry strategy once that level was broken bank nifty fell by 960 points do you believe it fell by 960 points the expiry strategies are quite different while compared to the normal day strategies even on buying points the put option 16550 put option from 6.85 7 rupees it went to somewhere around 90 to 100 rupees 14 rupees a entry came with somewhere around 50% as a stop loss so that is how expiry strategies needs to be built then after all combining together you need to have a blueprint of your trading plan then set your goals and execute so are you guys ready are you guys with me to learn the nifty and bank nifty and master the trading of nifty bank nifty index trading 
options as well as futures so while you are learning i am going to make it more exciting you want to earn as well while you learn yes while you are learning you are going to earn you are going to have access of two months live trading room premium group where you are going to get access of trading calls all the premium calls the research as i am a sebi registered research analyst i can i am authorized to provide the research ideas also i'll share some of the charts by end of the day so that whatever you have learned in the videos and the webinars and the weekly analysis you are going to apply the same there you can cross check and it's a practical approach of learning you are going to get in the mobile app also the continuous notifications so how to learn the index trading workshop it's bisected into three parts for five weeks part 1 introduction psychological trades hidden clusters you are going to learn part 2 you are going to learn introduction to derivatives as well as option analysis option selection patterns and indicators in the part 3 you are going to learn the major strategies option strategies are the key where you can make multi bagger returns but if you manage your risk and money in a diligent way i'm going to say it clearly and obviously a individual customized blueprint of your trading plan one on one consulting then you are going to have access of the workshop videos in the mobile app for a year or so q and a would be answered every week on the market analysis so it's all about 20 plus hours of real time strategies recordings in the whole webinar weekly community webinars like market analysis now i'm going to announce one more special offer for you bonus for you that we are going to do the same analysis what we did the market analysis every day from next week by the mid of next week we are going to start the daily analysis you will have a communication with me every day you are going to get your stocks queries every day every day evening daily trading ideas you will get access anyways to the group and also much more educational videos so you can check our tradersat.in website wherein we charge for the advisory 5000 per month it's a 10000 rupees app worth of 2 months of advisory trading room access absolutely free for you get the weekly webinar access for 3 months educational videos and all the workshop videos for 1 year in the mobile app exclusively for you all your queries post markets with me whenever based on availabilities as well as also the q and a can be asked whatever you have learned and practically applying with the charts so i am going to offer you at a exceptional price the workshop is basically at 18000 we are giving a 50% discount the index trading strategy is 9000 and again for this webinar if you are going to join the workshop with two month advisory access where in one trade you can earn 6000 web 3000 is the code you are going to get the workshop two months of advisory at rupees 6000 only and also there is an emi option where you can pay in emis uh, if you can provide a wallet named option is there with zero cost emi you can purchase the course for 2 3 6 months to 9 months as well as installments can be paid in two months so guys are you guys with me i am going to start the timer now do you like to learn as well as earn in one or trade or two trades you are going to earn the profits and also you are going to learn continuously it will be a two months of learning along with me it's a clear journey that i will hand hold you in a two months a 60 days time that i'll make sure you can become a professional trader are you guys with me
So okay, Nagesh Babu, you are getting this option. You are going to learn as well as earn. Please go ahead. See guys, you need to spend thirty minutes for screening. After learning learning the strategy every day, if you can spend thirty minutes. while that you are going to learn in the webinar only how within 30 minutes like daily analysis videos weekly analysis videos how we do you are going to learn in 30 minutes how you can analyze and morning if you are prepared enough as anyways i will be sharing the index levels if you are prepared yourself also with the combination you don't need to spend whole day in your trading you just need to spend 2 hours 9 to 11 or 1 if 9 to 10 you don't get an opportunity 130 to 3 o'clock also you can trade here is a course link on the app store you can access and you are, you, are, you are going to get the offer exclusively also you have got lot of emi options or installments as well i'm i can create installments for you if you want to pay in installments so that's about the index trading strategies if you only want the advisory part it's not required if you are a working pro professional you don't need to see the screen what do you need to do i'll tell you a simple method once you do your analysis in the evening you prepare yourself just do a simple thing put a alert on the level once that level has been triggered you will get a alert why why are your mobile only once that level has come execute the trade place a stop loss and place a target see again the strategy stop loss depends on your risk management and money management there are 10 different methods to just keep a stop loss i am going to teach four to five of them a different stop loss methods which you can even place on a chart and place a order you don't need to see the screen you just place once spend 5 minutes in the market hours so it's not mandatory to be on the screen always that's why i am telling nifty and bank nifty make your time comfortably with your job also you can earn here if you just want advisory and a live trading room access with all the weekly web webinars you are going to get the access you can join and learn as well as well as some educational videos that is as i said you can check the website that is 10000 per month sorry 5000 per month but we are going to give a offer of 50% at 5000 for 2 months a 50% off on the advisory only for the mobile app users i'll add you to the whatsapp premium group as well so that you'll get the real time updates stock limited calls we are not saying we'll give the 10 20 calls and confuse you a simple method simple calls where in you have to earn as well as you are going to learn my main motto is you should learn so that's about the trading room so guys are you guys with me till 11 am i got a coupon offer for you that is for just for rupees 6000 we are giving a discount of 50% already from 18000 whatever it costs 9000 for only the webinar attendees i am giving it for just at 6000 that also you can pay in emi or installments where you get a option in the app yes nikhil i am excited you can start your journey for your trading to learn earn and prosper and to achieve the financial freedom so guys this is one of the excellent opportunities where i am clearly telling you i am going to share and i'll hand hold you for 6 months the all the real time techniques and strategies don't miss it the offer is valid till tonight yes guys sure my trading journey see that's what i said at the starting of the session only jb i explained my trading journey that i started trading options initially in 2008 i used to do projects and i used to do my masters in uk at the first trade when i became a full time trader 
you while even studying i lost 70000 by averaging options nobody was there to teach me then i took it as a passion 6 to 8 hours i used to sit blindly in front of charts to learn and i had a passion for it then what i started i started trading learning continuously as a process first 6 years i struggled losses profits break evens stop start stop starts then couple of years break even last 5 years things have been improvised i have become a better trader on a course on day to day basis see how much i have made until now let us say i have a capital of 1 lakh even though markets fell from last april to september markets were on exuberant phase then till this march i have been profitable of around 250% this year has been an exceptional year for me obviously this financial year 250 300% i have made let us say i had a capital of 1 lakh i have made somewhere around 3 lakhs last year was fair enough some 35 for uh, 35 to 37% i have made that was not that much big before that it was somewhere around 18 18% i mainly do option buying guys i don't do option selling i prefer in so rarely i do whenever the wix is less at this point of time obviously i don't do option selling also i know but the, my mindset doesn't suit that i have fine tuned my strategies buying options also you can make money i am going to share the same strategies in the workshop videos webinar as well as i am going to share you the calls also where you have seen our option buying calls i told you it's somewhere between 50 to 70% the risk reward ratio and your money management is good 99% you are going to make money main thing is your risk reward ratio and money management if i say my accuracy is uh, success probability is 99% you are going to buy but i don't want to bluff you i don't want you to buy by by my false promises i don't promise in a false way nobody can achieve even the best of the best traders you know paul tudor jones you can google his accuracy is somewhere around 40 to 60% the dan zinger who scans the patterns a 1500 charts in half an hour every day 1500 charts in half an hour the guy who the total cost of the course mr jb is around just 6000 rupees that too you can pay in no it's 6000 rupees with two months of advisory access completely with the chart shared and also weekly webinar access as i explained you are going to get the weekly webinar videos on the market analysis the video should be recorded also you will be having a live q and a session once you go through and learn the videos uh also i'm going to explain the webinar concepts and strategies myself the basics should be recorded strategies all will be live basics should be recorded strategies should be live and also q and a and all your queries would be live and apart from that what is the speciality here is every week we are going to meet and also every other day if you have a time we do we start the daily analysis we are going to meet where you can ask your queries you are, you can ask your stocks queries you can ask your analysis queries with me there it's a continuous process of learning for next 2 months strategies would be live i i don't uh, believe in recording web uh, recording is what is your foundation which you need to build then continuously we are going to be live and the, all the calls will be live on the markets the trade setup should be live weekly analysis should be live where your query should be answered strategy should be live hope it's clear mr jb 
see strategy should be combination of price action clusters elliot waves obviously it's complicated i am not going to include much of the elliot waves indicators is somewhere around 10% of it 10 to 15% let us say even option strategies are also based on data it's not only on the price action it's a combination of concepts hope it's clear mr jb no software is required for the option data why do you need a software if you can set up a simple excel formula which can calculate in a one or two minutes time frame which i am going to teach you i am going to provide you the formula option strikes oi pcr in a revamped way not required none of why do you why do you want to pay and buy a software if you are such uh, such thing is required uh, i would say buy the sensible for somewhere around 350 rupees that also see i am not marketing all the uh, things even if you use investing.com the analysis can be done overnight you don't need any other analysis concepts well guys those who are really interested they can join or any queries please feel free to get in touch with me i am going to share you the strategies still the strategies part is left the tricks to trade nifty and bank nifty which i shared with you right yoginder yes i am going to check out and add you there on your calls uh, calls journey obviously i would help you out we we are going to discuss once the webinar is done so tricks of trading the nifty and bank nifty minimum you need to have a risk reward ratio of 1 is to 2 as i promised i am giving it take it guys this is the strategies trading at the reversal points as i discussed the hidden trading clusters the levels one needs to identify that is very much important that is pivotal the reversal points needs to be identified while trading because 60 to 70 percent of the time markets will be non trending sideways like now as we are seeing markets are clearly choppy some every day some 600 to 800 points moment is seen in the nifties even if we volatility reduces it can be choppy next six months Yes, please share Mr. Yogendra Krishna. He can buy with the same link. If he is willing to buy, he can buy it now. Share it with your friend. Any queries? Yes, I am going to share the same coupon. Uh, he can contact me on my mobile number. I am going to share it. It's uh, 78291 So 40% of the time it will be trending. So trending strategies we have to define in a different way. Trade with a strict stop loss, maintain the journal. This is a simple thing, but now I'm going to share about the option. This is what I promised and I'm giving it. How many of you know about Delta? Delta is something which clearly gives your option pricing understanding. It's a moment of options. See, option basically is defined into three steps. In the money, at the money and out of the money. Let us say Nifty is at 16,500. If you buy 16,500 call option, it is at the money. It's only time premium. If you buy 16,400, it is in the money. If you buy 16,600 call option, it is out of the money. So the nearer you buy the option, the better it is. Even though market moves in a slower pace, if you buy out of the money options, you are not going to gain. See, why 
people are obsessed by trading out of the money because they are going to pay less money. They think they are going to double, triple the money. That is once in a while opportunity. Don't try with luck. Never trade options with luck. Trade with a clear, precise money management and also clear strategy. If you are bullish, buy at the money. Instead of trading five lots, trade one lot. Buy at the money or in the money option with a precise stop loss. And always understand option buyer, it is time decay which is against them. So, you know something, the best option trade is if it is completed in 12 minutes. It is just in 12 minutes. That is what data suggests. Why? Let me say you something, why? Because that time decay theta is very much important. I usually don't carry options while I trade Nifty Bank Nifty because the time decay is more effective. And if you are an option seller, it is helpful. We have to trade it mostly on day to day basis while buying options and you have to watch the Delta as well. And one more important trick I'm going to share you here is if you start trading options after the expiry, Thursday weekly expiry finishes. Let's talk about Nifty Bank Nifty. Friday, you start trading Nifty options. Trade till Tuesday morning or afternoon. The same week, same week's options. Same expiry options. After Tuesday afternoon, trade, <coughs> excuse me, next week's options. Why do you need to trade next week's options? From Tuesday at 12 p.m., make it a rule. Till next Tuesday, I'm going to trade the next week. That's how you need to change. Because of time decay, the theta decay starts after Tuesday afternoon where the market reverses and the time decay is exponential. You are right, exceptionally right, Gaurav. In the second half, the time decay Tuesday afternoon starts Wednesday and Thursday. You can make 50 to 100 percent. You can lose also 50 to 100 percent. That's why don't depend on luck. Make it a professional approach. Friday to Tuesday, 12 p.m. afternoon, trade the same expiry. Then get into the next expiry. Guys, are you happy with this trick? Have you guys observed this? Anyone know this? Great, guys. Then while trading options, Please apply Gaurav, that will be helpful for you. Position sizing is very much important. Apply the right position sizing, money management, as well as risk reward ratio should be favorable while you are trading. Because what the most option traders make a mistake is position trading. Let you guys give me a feedback. I'll do main on money management and position sizing. 3% means not how many points. If you have a 1 lakh capital, take only 3,000 rupees of risk, Yogendar sir. So it might be 1 lot, it might be 2 lots. Depend points based on the stop loss and calculation you assess, then the risk reward ratio. So these are the tricks of trading the options. These are very few of them. I'm going to share much more of them while trading, while in the workshop. Guys, join you there in the workshop. Still, you have got time. Risk reward ratio is one is to two minimum. If you if it is one, I would believe one is to four and five for the options is very good. Even if you win 40%, one is to four and five. If you get an option trades, that is quite exceptional. That is where we have to take the trades. Don't worry about the stop losses. See, instead of trading five lots, trade one lot. I repeat again trade near the money so that option will have a moment also. Else, what is the use? You are not going to make money. Even the index moves. So these are simple tricks. As I promised, I shared. Guys, join the webinar. I will be there. You will get the recording access of all the basic strategies and all the weeks, weekly videos and queries. I'll handhold you for next two months. Let us start the journey together. Hardly it will be a trade 
in a trade or two you can take out the money whatever you have invested right guys am i wrong or right i want to add value and whatever the way i have struggled i want to cut short your journey to help you out become a successful and consistent trader and i want to help people to achieve their financial freedom that is the main motto of doing these workshops it's a time for money is for just for the time what i spend and you know how much time we would be spending so i believe it's worth it let's start the journey together guys so for any queries before that i am going to give you some successful trading tips maintain your trade journal always assess your risk reward ratio before entering the trade enter the trade within your plan when in doubt do nothing when you have a journal take a break after a series of winning trades and also after a series of losing trades take a break have a balanced mindset don't get into fear or greed have a balanced and proportionate approach in your trading which will make you a successful trader a beam a laser focused beam approach to boom yourself a balanced mindset right execution temperament analysis in a proper way in your limited time for one or two instruments and measured risk and money management and approach can make you boom and become a successful trader so that's it for the today's webinar for any queries feel free to mail me on traderset@gmail.com t r a d e r z h u t at gmail.com and also you can visit the website traderset.in and guys i am going to share a app link where you are going to get the educational videos and this weekly webinar recordings and this workshop recording also completely free so please download the traderset app in the google play store as well as ios so anyways i am going to share the app download link on the this one uh in the or whatsapp group so that you can download the app for all the recordings of this webinar as well so please feel free to ask if any queries are there regarding the market analysis or any strategies or even on the webinar front or the workshop front what you are willing to do or how you want to start your journey i am here to help you out it's a q and a time guys i'm going to unmute you all anybody please raise the hand i'll unmute you so that i can answer your queries in live that i'm going to explain you how to read the calls see last week i given all the premium calls in the group as well in our uh, whatsapp group which are shared see this is about the nifty analysis basically i given the levels and the strategy to buy with the points then here is the friday's example in the group what you are seeing these are the few calls we are given a btst on mcx you are seeing it clearly btst mcx at 13 rupees and see the mcx charts is well here how the stock moved up yesterday stock gained 4 and 1/2% we gave a buy option on the thursday the option price has touched more than 35 to 40 rupees we gave a 50% book around 23 bank nifty also exactly from the level of 
100 to 200 34094 bank nifty low was 34100 morning dip from there we saw 800 points bones in the bank nifty 780 points jk paper cash delivery at 109 we are given see how the stock performed jk paper this was a positional cash delivery call but that day itself we got the results the returns how much was the returns 250 to 270 it's 20 bucks returns oriental paper was another call stock moved up around 18 percent to close around 14 percent Buy was given at 11.58, around 28.80. 32.75 stock touched. Right? That's the high. 32.90, in fact, is the high. So more than 12 to 13% gains within an intraday. Sun Pharma also reached the target. Now we have an open position on Aston paper. So that's about some of the calls. Any more queries, guys? Mr. Lino, yes, being a SEBI registered research analyst, it's legalized to give the calls tips. I am legally authorized to give the advice. I am one in seven fifty in India. Or oh, any more queries, guys? Any more queries? You can write up in the chat box. That's great. You have joined the course. I am going to share the videos in the coming week, Lino. You learn as well as we are going to continue. I am going to share my number. Yes, I shared it here. Guys, already I shared it here. Oh, sorry. I am going to share my number. Just a minute. Guys, I'm going to share my number, but please avoid calling during the market hours. So as I will be occupied in the research as well as trading, it will also be disturbing for you. You can guy, you can feel free to call me after market hour, market hours for any of your queries. So this is my personal number. Seven eight nine two triple nine four five six. You can call me for any queries around uh, regarding the workshop around uh, five five thirty to evening eight thirty nine o'clock, so that I can answer during the market hours. It will be hectic for uh, complete lengthy conversation, so that I can explain you in much more better way. Well, uh, the WhatsApp number is different, anyways. That is only a WhatsApp number where I am going to share the research ideas. Uh, as you guys are there in the group. Any more queries, guys? You can feel free to mail me also at traders at trads at hut at gmail.com. 